Elon Musk, the billionaire CEO of the commercial spaceflight company SpaceX and the electric car company Tesla, made a guest appearance on The Simpsons on Monday. While the episode, titled The Musk Who Fell to Earth, calls Musk possibly the greatest living inventor, it didn't hold back on poking fun at many of the famous inventor's ideas. At the beginning of the episode, Musk arrives in Springfield as a washed-up inventor who uses Homer's bizarre ramblings for inspiration. Some of his amazing suggestions, violin playing quadcopters, luggage that can pack itself, a yoga mat that rolls itself up, and baseball tickets that guide you to your seat. Musk suggests building a high-speed transportation system called the Hyperloop for Springfield, perhaps that's Musk's hinted at test track for a proposed high-speed rail system of the same name that would connect Los Angeles to San Francisco. The Hyperloop is a system of sealed tubes designed to cut down on drag and transport people between Los Angeles and San Francisco in a record-breaking 35 minutes. But a small mouse takes a ride on the Simpsons version of the Hyperloop and throws up. This spectacular loss launches the city into a depression, and Musk ends up leaving in disgrace. At the end of the episode, Musk takes off in his company's Dragon spacecraft, and Lisa Simpson comments that, for a man who likes electric cars, he sure burns a lot of rocket fuel. Musk says that because space is a vacuum, there's nothing to push against. That means something as heavy as a spacecraft needs a huge ejected force to propel it through space. Electric rockets would not produce enough force for the spacecraft to react against. Musk also points out that ion thrusters aren't up to the task of propelling a spacecraft because they generate a very small force. Anything being launched into space must have more thrust than weight or you don't go up, Musk wrote on Twitter. Musk also took the opportunity to point out his big problem with space elevators, essentially cables running from the Earth's surface to a weight floating high above the atmosphere. Carbon nanotubes, a strand of carbon atoms that are 100 times stronger than steel, might be the right material to use for space elevators, but the research has a long way to go. It's nothing new for a celebrity to lend their voice to an episode of The Simpsons. Now well into its third decade, everyone from Bob Hope to three members of the Beatles have lent their talents to the venerable animated show. It's also not rare for figures like Stephen Hawking or Jeff Bezos to pop by for a scene or two, showing producers aren't afraid to venture outside of Hollywood to add some authenticity to the show. So, what made Elon Musk's voice work on episode No. 564 so unique? The appearance by the Space Exploration Technologies Corp. founder and Tesla Motors Chio wasn't just a cameo it was a full-blown starring role. Outside of a bizarre story setting scene involving Homer capturing a bald eagle, the animated Musk doesn't venture off the screen for too long after a landing a dragon capsule in The Simpsons' backyard. As Dennis Perkins writes in his episode review on The Onions of Heat, Club, it's especially disappointing and strange, the Simpsons themselves have almost nothing to do with the main story. Following Musk's landing, Lisa introduces him to the family as the world's greatest inventor. Homer then promptly thanks him for coming up with the idea of adding wheels to luggage. Stuck in an invention rut, Musk finds inspiration in Homer's thoughtless meditations and accompanies him to work at the Springfield nuclear power plant. Ridiculousness ensues, Musk irrevocably disrupts the town and then departs in shame via space capsule, of course. In the process, Musk proves he's not afraid to make fun of himself. A couple of lines of note from the Musk who fell to earth. While being chauffeured by Homer, Musk asks him to pipe down, saying I don't talk to anyone unless they provide the mental stimulation I seek. A PowerPoint from Musk on a planned Hyperloop transit system for Springfield reads. No upside for years. Makes no financial sense but it's cool. A terrible sacrifice now. That future generations may appreciate. Homer calls out Musk's flat, emotionless voice. Musk constructs self-packing luggage, a drone that can play the violin and a bevy of other ridiculous inventions throughout the half hour. 
The password for Musk's self-driving car is Musk Rules. After being introduced to Mr. Burns as the man who revolutionized the car industry, the comically aged and out-of-touch power plant owner confuses Musk for Henry Ford. There you are, as healthy and vibrant as Detroit itself, Burns says. After Musk's departure, Lisa offers for a man who likes electric cars, he sure burns a lot of rocket fuel. The episode is, in many ways, a love letter to Musk. For what it's worth, it was also the second lowest rated for The Simpsons, in the last six seasons. Sure, the episode wasn't preceded by NFL football but it also may have proved Musk isn't ready for prime time. The year 2020 also witnessed many prominent events that were accompanied by allegations that the series had predicted their occurrence, from the spread of the coronavirus pandemic to the strangulation of the American George Floyd by the US police and the ensuing demonstrations and acts of protest, the huge Beirut explosion, and other events. Did the Simpson family cartoon really predict all of these events? Miss Burt tracks many of the allegations attributed to the Simpson family on the global and Arab levels, verifies them and finds them false and fabricated. The most important of these allegations are The most recent of these claims in 2021 was the Simpson series prediction of the break-in of Congress. Following the storming of the U.S. Capitol by supporters of former President Donald Trump on January 6, 2021, an image circulating on social media claimed to predict the Simpson series storming of the U.S. Congress shows a character from the series resembling one of the storming participants. Mess Barr verified the claim and found it false. The photo turned out to be fake. The characters in Simpsons series were cut, altered, and pasted against the backdrop of the Capitol. The Simpsons have not predicted coronavirus since 1993. As the coronavirus pandemic spread around the world, a widely circulated claim appeared on social media that the series predicted the spread of the coronavirus in one of its episodes, which aired in 1993. However, a probe from the video circulating in the Simpson family show that the episode refers to a virus transmitted by a factory in Japan called the Osaka flu, and that the image circulating and showing the name of the coronavirus in the video was fabricated. The Simpsons did not broadcast Floyd's murder. The publishers of the photo claim it is from episode 18 of season 7 of the US series The Simpsons, which was titled Day Violence Died, produced in 1996, says the series creators predicted the death of George Floyd and the ensuing protests. It shows a drawing of the White House police officer strangling his knee, African-American George Floyd, with Lisa Simpson standing next to him with a painting that reads, Justice for George. Probe found that the image circulating on the internet is an artistic creation by Italian artist and cartoonist Yuri Bomo, who shared the image with his wide audience on his Instagram account, and wrote with the drawing he published five days after Floyd's murder that he is taking the opportunity to paint the Simpson family, who were the children of everyone, to deliver a clear and strong message about the George Floyd affair. Imagine you sit with your daughter or your son watching The Simpsons, and all of a sudden this scene is going on in the show. How cruel it's going to be. No jokes, no sarcasm. How would you feel? The Simpsons series didn't predict the Minneapolis fire. The same thing happened when a fire broke out at the end of May in Minneapolis, Minnesota. A number of social media accounts claimed to have published a photo of the famous American Simpson series in which they predicted the fire that broke out in Minneapolis, Minnesota. This was found by a false allegation probe. There is no relation between what appeared in the series and the fire. The picture shown in the series bears the name of the Springfield Police Station, while the fire broke out in a residential complex under construction in southern Minneapolis. The Simpsons did not predict the Beirut explosion.
The Beirut explosion was one of the most prominent events of 2020, and it was covered by a lot of fake news, including the circulation of a video claiming to be a simulation of the Simpsons series of the port explosion on August 4, 2020. The video shows a bearded man, a store owner, visited by Simpson and accidentally detonating a bump, followed by a large explosion similar to the Beirut port incident.